what's going on everyone? Welcome to Phantasmagoria here on Let's Play with Brigands. We have a spooky red font to show how scary this game is. This is actually my first time ever playing this game. Um, I know very little about this, I was saying before I started recording. Uh, I, yeah, just... Oh, what I know about this game is is twofold. One, I think Roberto Williams devoted a lot of resources at Sierra to this game. I think other games got put on the back burner so that this game could be made. Um, it's not just like King's Quest, but just other series. So, um, not to get the expectations too high for myself. If you're watching this, you're probably more familiar with it than I am. Secondly, I know there's some adult content in this one. So, I mean, I want to get the kids out of the room. Uh, I don't know too much more than that. We'll see what happens. You've been warned. Let's put it that way. This is a, uh, a horror game. 1995 Sierra. FMV. Similar to Gabriel Knight 2. The uh, Beast Within, which I loved. Absolutely loved that game. First time I played it here on the channel. And uh, yeah. Digging the chanting music right here at the start. Let's watch the intro. Looks like a nice place to set up my tripod. I know that's not us, I don't know why I say that's my tripod. We have a female protagonist in this game, as I understand it. That's the third thing I know about this game. <laughs> I swear that's all I know. What if this was just a big old camera tutorial for the, what, what, what's the make on that camera? How to take pictures. Massive bait and switch from Roberta Williams. Ah, oh, it's a creepy looking house. I guess we're going inside. FMV was thought to be the future of video games in 1995, where they film actors and insert them into pre rendered scenes. And Post-rendered scenes, I suppose. But this is a crazy fever dream. Let's not go in this house. Unfortunately, that's us, I think. So weird not being Laura Bow or... Oh, the dream within a dream. Oh, okay. Dream within a dream? Adrian. Where Chris Nolan got his idea from. That was horrible. Mm -hmm. So creepy. I don't know if he meant it to be that creepy. That's Girl in the Tower. Right there. That started out as... I think we married down... Whoa! Alright. That's... I guess that's uh, what I was talking about when I said adult content. What adventure game starts off with just getting some? Poor Larry. You have to wait through the whole game to see that. Alright. That's your intro? Just us getting banged? All right, <laughs> start a new game. I did start a game just to make sure everything works. So when it says continue old game, I haven't played this yet. Just want to clarify, name your game. Uh, uh, Ricky? <laughs> I was, what, what do you mean name my game? That's fine. Uh, I don't like that it lets me pick the chapters. That's like King's Quest Seven. Maybe that's where she got the idea from. Didn't like that. All right, let's start at the beginning, because that's how these playthroughs generally go. Chapter One. Very Gabriel Knight Three with the time. 
Sunday, October 16th, 9 a.m. There's no subtitles for this, unfortunately. I apologize in advance. Yeah, this one's not gonna be for the kids. Check out our uh, Mixed Up Mother Goose playthrough. If you have youngins in the house. Good morning, honey. Good morning, sweetheart. How about some coffee? Yeah, big one. Somebody kept me up last night. Well, I'm big sorry, one. I had a nightmare. That's our husband? You didn't seem to mind so much last night. Oh, oh no. Not when we were having mm. sexual intercourse. It's probably just spending the night in a new house is all. Yeah, I know. We have to admit, this place is kind of strange. Yeah, it's different. You know, I bet the guy that built this place must have been really bizarre. Well, hi, Spaz. How you doing? Spaz hi. the cat? Oh, all right. What are you going to do today, sweetheart? Well, I don't know. I'm almost finished unpacking. Thought maybe I'd do a little exploring. Yeah. How about you? Did you see that bathroom yet on the second floor? Yeah. I'm going to take like a that. big... I'm going to turn it into a photo lab for myself. Oh, okay. Keep me busy for a week or so. That's a good idea. What's in that box? Well, I don't know. I haven't gone through it yet. Let's see. Don't you label your boxes oh, when you move? Ornaments. Oh, look at this. Christmas wow. ornaments? Just a sec. Why is it on the table? You remember this? Yeah. Yeah, I gave you this for Halloween. Why? Rats? <laughs> you know it was Christmas Eve. Was that makes sense. To... Are you sure I proposed to you? Yes. Of course I remember. Why'd you say yes? No offense to this guy, but he's, he has more of like a a goon in a Baywatch episode. I, I got a lot to do. Yeah, I gotta go try to kill David Hasselhoff today. So I'll always remember that fateful night. Well, don't wait too hard. See you later. Just saying, he's the reacher in that relationship. We can do better. But anyway. He didn't... Did he... We poured him a big one. Did he drink it all? Alright, so FMV. This is how these games work. Uh, what do we always do when we play a seer? Well, when we play any game when we can save, we save early and we save off. Oh, bookmark. So we have only a single save to work with. So we can save as many times as we want, but we can't go back. So I'm hoping there's not an instance where we can't we can get stuck somewhere, but uh, I'm sure we'll be leaning on that quite a bit. Uh, full screen and half screen. <laughs> Glad that fad didn't catch on. Although I did appreciate they let you pick between the top and the bottom half. That was nice, but yeah, that, that didn't last very long. Uh, we'll definitely go with the uncensored version. I already told you to get the kids out of the room, so that's on you. More. Title bar, I guess we don't need that. Booby detail. Yes, please. Give me that grainy 1995 movie detail. Volume seems okay. I don't know. Seems okay. I'm happy with those settings. Let's get into it. I am the official hint keeper. Oh, nice. I watch your every move. Ask me for a hint if you are hopelessly stuck, but use me sparingly. Too many hints can spoil the game. That's fair. Now, I like that they have that built in, actually. Reminds me of when all the condiments talk to you in Space Quest or technically Space Quest 10, but if you'd played that game, then you know what I'm talking about. Let's look around the kitchen. Did we buy that mansion? Is that what's going on here? Why would you buy that house for two people? <laughs> Matchbook. Why not? There's our inventory. Already coming along down there. Big range right there, way bigger than necessary. It's kind of wasted space right there on either side of that. That's all right. Got some garlic in case the dark one arrives. Always good. Probably in this house especially, it's a good idea. How is the fridge that small though? We have the biggest house in probably the state, and we have a mini fridge. Damn, that makes me angry. 
<laughs> you shouldn't. What did she just drink? What'd she get out? Probably doesn't matter. What else we got back here? Oh. Okay. Some sort of massive dining room. Alright, I'll sit there. My uh, ponytail bearing husband can sit there. The cat can sit there. And, oh wait, this house is too big. Yeah. It's way too big. My god. How many rooms do I need to say this in? This house is way too big. I guess the steel... Oh, hold on. Was that a Zoltar machine in the corner? Wait, wait, wait. Where's the Zoltar machine? Yes. <laughs> uh, Alright, I take it back. That was probably the selling point. Re Realtor's like... Or we were like, uh, there's just two of us. We probably only need, like, I don't know, X square feet. All right. A token. I'll try it out. I wanna be big. And she gains 200 pounds. <laughs> That'd be a different movie if it worked out like that. Sultar just messed with people, twisting their wishes. Sultar's a dick. Instead of turning the kid into an approachable, uh, handsome Tom Hanks, just turns into a full-bodied kid in the, over the in the night. Evil will walk once more. <laughs> oh, eh, not as bad as a boozle. Zoltara, there you go. Fooey. I'm just gonna awkwardly stand next to the Zoltar machine now. That's weird. Yeah, what were we thinking with this house? I think that's going to be the central theme of this playthrough. Although I'm sure that's going to change really fast once some creepy stuff starts to happen. But right now I'm just like, too much house. What we got above the mantle? It's kind of like Sam Rockwell if you squint a little bit. <laughs> Rocking a tux. I like Sam Rockwell. No thoughts on the random guy in the portrait above the uh, house? I don't even know. Is this our... Are we renting this mansion? I, <laughs> the only context I got from the intro was that uh, I have nightmares and my uh, husband with long hair says he'll protect me and we had sex. Hey, Spaz. How you doing, kitty? You getting used to the new place yet, huh? Yeah, it's the picture of the guy that sold us the house. <laughs> or it just came with the frame. <laughs> Normally I take issue when it sounds like the voice actor is delivering their lines from a well, but in this room, I'm not going to fault that one bit. I bet there's a massive echo. <laughs> Alright, I hope we have a lot of friends. What's going on outside? I bet the yard is massive, too. I'm not mowing it. Oh, look at that. That was almost cave music from uh, Quest for Glory 1 right there. It's like our eyes are adjusting and there's a bear in the corner. It's probably a bear in this house for all I know. Uh, sweet 90s car. This ours? Are we going for a drive? Okay, sure. Get me away from the massive, creepy house. It's always a good idea. That's as far as we'll drive. Not driving over that rickety... Are you parking like right in front of that rickety bridge? It looks okay. It's just... I don't know. It's made of wood. I don't trust my car driving over wood. Welcome to... Nippy Wamset. N oh, Nip Nippa Wamset. Nippa Wamset. Can we go in the Nippa Wamset? So this is somewhere along the coast, I suppose. Oh, what if this guy's the murderer? I'm calling it right now, that guy's the murderer. I don't know that there's a murderer, I just know this is a horror game, so there's probably a murderer. Can't talk to anybody, that's kind of annoying. How are you going to make any friends? If you're not, you're not willing to talk to a blues traveler guy, how are you going to make any friends to fill out your massive mansion? No? <laughs> I 
So much for that. And I'll just awkwardly stand here. Let's go back to our giant mansion. I didn't mean to drive so soon. We need to explore a bit more. Get back in our beamer or whatever this is. Get the hell out of Nippawam set. Back to our murder mansion. Ooh, murder mansion. That works out well. It's not gravel. Why is it making gravelly sounds? Come on, Foley person. We could speed up some of these. Like you can see like the uh, the outline of the green screen and everything, or the blue screen, whatever they were using. 1995 technology. Alright. Send. <laughs> yeah. Just to remind you how creepy this house is every time you come in, it just. Oh, you're like, I get it. My house is creepy. <laughs> house doesn't have to sing to me. In a creepy ghost voice every time I uh, enter it. Man, I mean, I know, like, this kind of fits the vibe of the house. It's just not contemporary, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is our... T I don't get that this is her taste from her wardrobe. Yeah, let's sit down. Is it nice? Yeah. We really don't have anything going on. I would take this, though. Like, just... <laughs> You're like, alright, I guess I'll sit on this bed for about 20 seconds. And then stand rigidly in place. Ooh, a mirror! Come on, Kasima. Yeah. No reflection, even. Some sort of vampire? Should I read into that? Let's check out this portrait. Oh, this kind of looks like they're wearing some modern clothing here. Is that us? I don't, I don't understand. You never see someone in modern clothes in a house like this, in a portrait in a house like this. Very ornate frame and everything. I want a portrait of us just like rocking a tank top and sunglasses, drinking a 40 in one hand and flipping off the camera with the other and then just put it in the most expensive ornate frame you can find. Is there anything in, can I check the, uh, the drawers here? I need more stuff for my inventory. Matches are never enough. My dearest Gaston, I can't wait to see you, my angel. It's been far too long. Let's, Let's take, take a, a few, few moments, moments for ourselves, ourselves during Zoltan's party next week. We'll meet in the gazebo, away from all the revelry. Wait, Zoltan? Angel, how I yearn for your sweet kiss. Your strong arms holding me tight, protecting me. And oh, my dear, I need protecting. I'm afraid my husband's beginning to suspect. He watches me night and day. Perhaps we can steal away, run away, forever from his sight. My only consolation is thoughts of you, my angel. Always, your adoring love, Marie. What is the deal? Like, who lived here before, and why is there stuff still here? Friggin' Gaston. Always after that beast. Always after Belle, and for good reason. It's Belle, come on. Unpopular opinion, maybe, but low-key, Gaston has the best song in Beauty and the Beast. I'm saying that right now. What is this right here? Something else for our inventory, perhaps? Creepy Mansion trading cards? Yeah? Alright. What's our name, by the way? I don't even know our name. Can I show this to you? A deck of tarot cards. Straight to the point. A book of matches. <laughs> he sounds so exasperated with me already. We just started. Can check the uh, dress or the wardrobe there now. <laughs> I 
Um, you know what else I was thinking? In term, we have we got the book of matches as our first item. I would Sam Rockwell and a magician outfit. Hold on, I would uh, venture to guess that the book of matches is the most common inventory item in adventure games. What a random thought, but I bet I'm right. I don't know what I'm basing that on, but you just there's so many games where I have a book of matches. Looks a little less Sam Rockwelly in this one, I have to admit. Maybe that's the great Gaston, or Zoltan. I don't know, there's a lot of, a lot of names going around. I just, I need more context than I got in that intro. Like, it's, it's nice that they have a physical relationship and everything, but... What's the deal with this mansion? Don't take two pictures, show me a nightmare, and then, uh, that's, you know, a passionate what have you. Why are we, why are we in this mansion? What's going on? Why does she feel the need to lay or sit on all the beds? I guess she's trying to figure out what's the best one to sleep on. There's a lot of options. You could sleep on a different mattress in a different bed, in a different bedroom every single night in this mansion. Are we falling asleep right now? We are. Alright. Uh... What? <laughs> Call Ikea. We're not sleeping on that bed tonight. Don! Is that our meathead husband? Yeah, what is it? I almost had David Hasselhoff. You okay? Oh, God. The bed. What? The bed grabbed me. It's really uncomfortable. <laughs> the bed grabbed you? Yes. <laughs> oh, here, calm down. Calm down. Wait here. Wait here. All right? Just wait here. I'll show you. No, don't. Just calm Just down. Just come on. Let's try having sex on See? it. It's okay, Ela. See? Nothing wrong. You're not laying down, Don. I Goodness. laid down. This old drafty house has your imagination going, doesn't it? Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> I've got to get back to work. Are you going to be okay? Yes. You sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Just calm down. Okay. Remind me why we bought this house again, Don. Let's sit on it again. No? <laughs> okay. I don't know, it's, it's like a fun little ride, you know? I would invite people over and be like, ah, this bed, it's just something off about it. It's just not comfortable. You mind trying it out? And then the hands come out, everybody that comes over. It's just a fun little gag. Uh, classic cigarettes. We taking one? You smoking? Don's a smoker. I don't like that. See if you can't get him to quit by the end of the game. What do we got in here? Ruby ring? Hmm, a little gaudy. Not really our taste. Like this house. That's fine. She always goes back to her standard awkward position. Can't even interact with either of these mirrors. All right. Anything else? This is so What's the sofa going to do to us? If I were her, I don't know that I'd sit down or anything else in this mansion. All right. Sofa seems okay. Little day bed. I don't know what you call that. All right. This room gets this room gets a B. I don't know. Didn't really like the whole bed grabbing me thing, but it's a nice comfy sofa. I'm okay with that. Yeah, those little like do do. That is so cave in uh, Quest for Glory One.
Putting out the vibes. I like it. I wish I knew her name so I could know what to... I guess we're breaking. Are you okay? Yeah. I screwed over slipped. It's a damn drain. Let me see. Oh, I'm okay. Really, I'm... Um... You know what I could use? Some drain cleaner. Do I have any? I don't think so. <laughs> Does he want drain cleaner? Damn. Don't look at the camera. These old pipes really are clogged. Is there anything I can do? Give me some yeah. damn drain cleaner. Oh, there we go. Thanks, honey. Maybe he's just really into that pose, and that's why he fell- well, we don't know. Makes sense why he fell for her. <laughs> Two things I'll never get over. Their relationship in this house. The size of this house. Oh, he won't like that! Oh, it's fine. It doesn't look long. He's like, yeah, and that bed didn't <laughs> look like it grabbed you. Hold me a liar. Oh. What's that up there on the... Adrian, be careful. That lamp is not secure yet. Oh, sorry. Adrian. Adrian. I heard our name. Adrian. Okay. Alright. Little bossy Don. Not loving that. This might be the last room we haven't checked on this floor. Oh, there's another floor. Of course there is. Uh, this is the torture room. Clearly. What the hell is this? Oh! Uh -oh. What the... What is this house? Why is there furniture which shocks me? Did we... Did an old dotty aunt leave this house to us? Did Sam Rockwell leave this house? What is up with this house? Got any sweet turn of the century, 20th century music? Playing the old Victrola? No. Bet something super creepy is gonna play there later. Can I get a reflection? Finally, a reflection. Looking good. Rocking that 90s hairstyle like a champ. so sinister about that? I don't understand. That, was, that seemed okay. Alright, so this is the weird shock torture room. But it's got a good mirror. Keep that in mind. Let me step out of the shower. Alright, let's check the uh, attic. Or, I'm sorry, the third floor. Good lord, stupid house. I could, like, put together everyone I've ever met in my life, and this house would still be too big. Get them all together. Teddy bear. Oh. Jeez. Might as well keep the bottom. Never know when a bottom of a teddy bear could come in handy. Ah, oh, jeez. Definitely a baby murder in this room. Come on, there's just so many bad vibes. What's going on with this house? What? There's just like a ghost hanging out? We're not even gonna react to that until we react to it? Okay. Yeah. She's either really chill or really dumb. I don't know which it is. Maybe a little of both. Hmm, our last house didn't Tom, have it. What is this? Yeah, our last house didn't have a big old cloud of ectoplasm. Hmm. Guess that's just something I'll have to get used to. Nothing else going on in here. No. All right. Well, that's certainly going to make having children more interesting. Did we check this room yet? Our last house didn't have any ghost juice. 
Even the house is like, you know what? You need more people in your family to justify opening this door. <laughs> it's just, just two of you. Oh, is the giant coming home? The ogre? Why, there's a key stuck in the keyhole. It's ironic. Or normal. Not sure the right word. My vocabulary may be lacking. Uh... Yeah, they decide which things we can interact with. Click the hint right now. He's like, get the hell out of this house. This place has bad vibes, Adrian. Oh, it's just it's too much going on in this house. It's too big. How many ways can I say it? Can we paint? Adrian's got to be good at something. Come on. What's, or is that, is that already a painting? Can we critique art at least? Do you have that going for you? No. I don't have any opinions. Man, where's Laura Bow when you need her? Laura Bow would be like, nah, -uh, we're not doing this house. Leonora. Who's this Leonora Don? All right, maybe we'll make some happy little treats later. Let's check the chamber pot. What? Oh, uh, that's handy. We can skip through things a little faster. And we have the same old animation. There's like a painting apron, I guess. Ninety-one. Backwards. Oh, H. I know. I've seen that letter around. Uh, I think I've used it in some of my sentences in this Let's Play. I don't think I used it in that last sentence, but... This looks like something out of Knives Out, the sequel. What, the... what is this? Thing? Yeah, what is this? Just exploring this mansion could be a full-time job, you know? He's like, what are you going to do today? Well, I thought I'd explore another 1% of this mansion. I figure that'll burn most of the weekend. Ooh, five bucks. Can't wait to see what the skull says about this. A five dollar bill. Let's get some Skittles and cigarettes. Ooh, television. Or not. I guess this house, as they say in the uh, real estate industry, in that world, it conveyed. We bought it conveyed. Something to that effect, where all this stuff came with it. I would argue maybe it shouldn't. Like the, the weird ghost juice. Wait, I thought I turned my computer off. Oh. That's ours, okay. Is all this stuff ours? Did we bring the Zoltar machine? It's not. Mm, maybe the ghost baby was playing around a minesweeper or something. Ski free, perhaps? I'm trying to think of the fashionable games in the mid 90s. <laughs> Laura would be dead at this point. Yeah, that's sort of faster. Alright, so that's his bathroom slash dark room. Alright, I think we did it. I think we went through all of the rooms on that top floor. And I'm definitely going to get some mileage out of this speed up I'm a Bob control. No? Looks like there's something pretty massive behind this. Looks like the door to a Asian themed restaurant. Damn it, it's locked. Asian themed restaurant, actually. Like a PF Chang's behind that door. And I'm hungry. I need something to go with that coffee. You play? Something tells me you don't. Do you crank? 
Oh, you crank. Okay, good. I couldn't play anything cheery, like Here Comes the Sun or anything. It had to be... Do, 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 do. We all knew that was going to be a minor key and we started cranking that thing, let's be honest. Uh, it's just always going to play creepy music in this house now. Uh, miss this door. It's the house's way of saying, come on. I'm way too big for you. Another mirror. Can we interact with this one? There we go. Cosima? Guinevere, at least? Or, uh, what was her name? Vala... 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 Lisa? No. Does it move? Every time we check ourselves out in the mirror, we get this really creepy music. What is up with that? Alright, that seems like it's everything. Maybe we should go back to town now. Maybe we can find some drain cleaner for old Don. Old Don. Oh, I'm sorry. We haven't checked out the 30 acres of property that we bought. <laughs> Slash inherited. What? What is this bridge? This is completely unnecessary. <laughs> Don't you like a suspension style? And what like tombstones halfway through? What is this? Why is there a graveyard on our property? This must have been dirt cheap. I'm calling it right now. Don won this in some sort of photography contest. I don't know. We need to save. I would really hate to die. Please don't try going down there. That's too far. That'd be a long jump. I'm not athletic, in case you're wondering. I have... No discernible skills whatsoever, apparently. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's go to town. Get some drain cleaner. Meet some people. Just, I need someone just kind of warm and welcoming and just, I need some good vibes after being in that house. There we go. Back to gold, nip -a set. Is the uh, realtor place inexplicably open? Oh, it is. All right. We just had to walk through our... <laughs> we were probably walking around investigating, exploring that house for three days. Well, hello there, little lady. What can I do you for? All right. Yeah, are you Bob Tompkins? All right, we're not in my... What's the last time I took a look? <laughs> My husband bought a house from you. Don't like he bought that house? Mm, too bad you got a husband, honey. I'll have a seat. Don't like it when people laugh way too hard at things that aren't funny. Uh, well, uh, what's his name? Asshole. Oh What was that? Gordon. Donald Gordon. Wait, did we just call her husband an asshole? Or this guy? What? We're not in my foyer right now. Gibson, Why does it sound like we're in a cave? Yeah. Donald Gordon, here we go. Oh. You them people what took over the old Caravash estate. It's Carnivash. I remember now. Your husband was that photographer. What takes of pictures for those magazines? Yeah. Uh. Well, my husband works for several magazines. Got the... He's doing a project for Newsday magazine right now. News. That sounds made up. 
And you, little lady, uh, you're a writer, huh? Yes. I'm a novelist. Oh. Probably haven't been around a while. Novelist. So what have you noveled? <laughs> have you heard of a book called Blue Moon Rising? No. no. Can't say I have. I'm not surprised. She was so ready to put him in his place. Well, uh, young lady, unless there's something else, I think we'll cut this chit-chat for today. I got a lot of work to do. I got another client I'm going to meet. Yeah, I bet you do. Well, thanks. Didn't get on the off on the right foot with this guy. Um, is that a Billy the Bass? No, it's not. Well, it's not one that we can interact with. Why does everything have so much reverb in this office? It's so small. There is something. Yes. Keys. Are you sure you gave my husband all the keys to the Carnivash estate? Yeah, I got locked doors. There seem to be some locked doors. Well, I gave him all I had. But if you don't believe me, why don't you just check for yourself? Well, I think I will. All right, let's go through your files. Is that cool? All right. Thanks, man. All right, so we're Adrian the Raider. Good to know. There's a friggin' key right here, realtor guy. I missed your name. Come on. Aha. Carnivash Estate. All the keys, huh? What's this? Oh, that's the key to the murder room. It's a very large key. We realtors generally advise going into those. Advice oh, against, oh. excuse me. Yeah, we don't we don't have those out on policy. Motor rooms bad for business. Actually, you'd think they'd probably be good for business because then you could turn over that house again. All right, now we have the key to the murder rooms. That's good. Anything else going on here? I can't interact with anything else. Do we have Newsday Magazine? Not to confuse with Newsweek. Wow, that couch and that wallpaper. That's all I need to say, right? <laughs> Good lord. Alright, so we bought that mansion. Interesting. Homesland. There's a magazine called Homesland. I can just picture Roberta Williams directing her. You're like, all right, but like, look a bit more interested in Homesland magazine this time. What? What was that? <laughs> Just added that in. Can I get some water that's not ghost juice? Some liquid that's not ghost juice? Here we go. This is important. Trust me. Once we get to Act 6, you're going to be like, Glad we drank that water back in Act 1. Okay. Back to my standard dead-eyed pose and stance right there. All right. He thinks nothing of it. I'm leaving. Got my murder, murder room key. That's all I care about. Any drain cleaner stores around here? Maybe Luann's Antique. I'll take Antique Drain Cleaner. I don't think Don's particular about that. Man, these places keep weird hours. Robert Thompkins. Telling you, that's the murderer. No, it's Thompkins, but I'm going to say Thompkins. Oh, look at the pup. Maybe the pup's the murderer. Nothing's open. All right, well, I'm going to try my new key. I can't hold back my excitement. I want to see those murder rooms. I want to see them right now. Five dollar bill. Abraham Lincoln. Keep forgetting about this key. Action button, and it defaults there too, which is nice. And we even got to skip the uh, oh. all right. 
Uh, let's try it down here first. A large skeleton key. Skeleton key, so that should work on everything, right? By definition? I guess by definition it's just made from skeletons. I don't know. No? It, it would work by now if that were the right key, Adrian. No. <laughs> it's fine. Let's try the skele the poorly named skeleton key on some uh, other doors. Why don't we? How about this door? How about we save? How about that? Or move our bookmark. Sorry. I could probably buy two $5 footlongs back in 1995. Just saying. Don't think about that sentence too much. So this is the study, I suppose, probably study number one. It's probably, a house like this probably has a few studies. I didn't mean to click through that. I guess right click is the same. Oh, I just clicked on that. What'd you see, Adrian? This reporter attended Carno's Phantasmagoria show <gasps> in London's Egyptian theater last it's night the and name found the it game. horrific, spine tingling, and incredible. Women were swooning in the aisles at the gory realism of his spectacles. For the uninitiated, Carno's shows are not for the faint of heart, as they feature occult images, the black arts, torture devices, bodily amputations. Of course, all are accompanied by a generous dose of screams, shrieks, howls, and frightening organ music. Those of you up to thrills and chills won't want to miss this. Hmm. So just, like, why is all Carno stuff still in this mansion? I know I keep dwelling on this. It's not the focus of the game, Tony. But, uh, nope, not a third time. We read it pretty good. Get a fireplace going here? It kind of doesn't look like... Is there a false brick? Man, that thing's massive. You can fit like six Adrians in that. Oh, there is a false brick. What the hell? <laughs> the hell? Yeah, you think there'd be like 10 caretakers that came with this house. <laughs> came with, but you know, this still work here. What's going on? Is it just, did that unlock something? <gasps> Creepy. Pass the dagger through to Cosima, Adrian. Guess that's not how we get through. Maybe there's a mushroom we can eat, a la King's Quest 1, and shrink ourselves down. Maybe there's an owl named Cedric in this game who will help us not get murdered. Yeah. Okay. So, secret room behind the fireplace. Check. Got a little desk over here. What is that? Is it a little cat figurine? Taking a little cat figurine? A black onyx figurine. Fair. Go through the drawers here. Hmm. Another note. Is it going to be from uh, what? What? What was her name? To Gaston. Dear Jeremiah. What? It has come to my attention that you have recently acquired a unique book 
while traveling through Egypt this most recent winter. It is my understanding that this tome contains powerful information regarding ancient rituals of sorcery and magic. I relish the thought of reading it. As you know, I am sometimes frustrated by the fact that I cannot really control the world around me. That my so-called magic is merely nothing more than illusions. Next month, I will be giving a show in Paris. Will you be in town then? If so, I would like to set up a meeting during which I could examine your fascinating acquisition. If the book is really authentic, I would be more than willing to pay a hefty sum for its purchase. I look forward to hearing from you. Best regards, Zoltan. Zoltan. Just, sorry, dude, where's my car? That's going to ruin it for me the whole game. I'm not going to be able to take it seriously. <laughs> Sultan! Maybe that book's around here. Got to go back to my standard spot. Maybe it's right here on the shelf, amongst all the lesser books. Fourth wall. Prognostications of evil? The devil made me do it? Ch this guy had some strange taste. And chicken soup for the soul. Worship of animals? Secrets of the dead? Yeah, we need to work in some Java voice at some point. It's just difficult when there's no subtitles and there's full voice acting that's not Java. Okay. Uh, hold on. Is there anything else? get it. Is there anything? Yeah, we don't need to see that again. There's something else. Don't look through that again. All right, that's all she's going to do with that. It's got to be some way. Hold on. All right, same thing. That's fine. What if we slip a $5 bill through? The okay. That's fine. We haven't tried the hint yet. Mortar is best removed with a narrow scraping implement. I don't have a narrow scraping implement. All right. So we need to be on the lookout for some sort of like a, like a fire poker or something. A knife. A cat. All right. Fair enough. We already checked that drawer. Is that a pen? What is that? <laughs> Don definitely has a narrow scraping element. Implement. That's what we love about them. Long and thin. There you go. 
Yeah, if only the, uh, any shop other than the realtor was open at the same time. Suppose our key won't work anywhere else. There was like another locked door somewhere. We haven't tried this door yet. Had we missed this? Okay. Another weird bridge. Uh, which leads to the other weird bridge bridge. Somehow the grass is well maintained, so somebody's got to be working here. Maybe they'll save us in the end when we're about to be murdered. Don't know. Mortar is best removed with a narrow screw. We really got to get into that room. That's what I'm gathering from, uh, The, uh, the skull. <laughs> Bones. Like a musical puzzle here. Are there puzzles? Hmm. Yeah, how much do we pay for this? That's all I want to know. Still got our garlic on the wall there. All right, so that's how that all connects. It's gotta be a knife somewhere in the kitchen, right? Yeah, get some more, get some more water. And get our fill at the realtor's office. Tompkins. There you go. Now we're ready to continue our adventuring. Hold on, let's hit that fridge one more time. Ridiculous, I have to go eight from this fridge. It's so small. Look at all the room we could occupy with fridge right there. You could double the size of that fridge and still, like, put three more fridges on top of it without hitting this uh, ceiling there. That's insane. Where are the knives in this kitchen? Don't sit down right now, Adrian. Come on. What am I missing here? Oh, there's a basement we haven't hit yet. Where the hell is the basement? Probably behind that locked door. Oh, here we go. Let's get to shed some light on the situation. All right, we're good on nondescript cereal soup. What? You're not done in there, Adrian. Get back in there. What are you doing? Come on, there's more cupboard to explore. All right, we got our cereal soup. We've got some cans for uh, Spaz the Cat. And we can't interact with, hold on. Hold the phone. There's something under this rug. Yes. Basement, here we come. Murder cellar. Here we come. <sighs> eh. Come on, you don't need Don for this. You can do this, Adrian. You loosened it last time. No? Alright. Oh, at least we know where the cereal soup is. Maybe Don will have some clues. Don, where can I get a knife so I can get into that creepy room that's hidden behind the fireplace? Oh, all you had to do was ask? Come on. How did we get in here? This place... This is this is the one room of the house that's not that big, and I'm already lost somehow. Okay, there we go. non Casima mirror is there. Hold on, there's another portrait I didn't check out. Who's this?
She looks confused. Okay. Probably one of the people we saw in a letter or something. Can I interact with the items in some way? Oh, okay. Cool. Can we take get a close up of the five dollar bill? Yes. <laughs> five dollars. It's all ours. All right. Tarot cards. Okay. The matches. Uh, the Nippawam set bar and grill. Plainly named, but straight to the point. Something going on with this meow meow. It's like a button on the. Oh, oh. it's a letter opener. Ah, oh, come on now. Not sure if a letter opener is going to be what we need, but we'll give it a go. In the old fireplace. Maybe. There we go. Seventeen hours later. I was joking, but it does seem like this is going to take a while. knife on our little uh, meow meow came off. Oh well. Still a fun paperweight. Hold on just a little bit more. Now we can fit through. <laughs> I'm sorry. 27 hours later. Don's going to come down and be like, what the hell did you do? I would like just a little bit of inner monologue from Adrian. I just want to get some idea of what... It didn't need to be that large. Come on. You're a, you're a small little thing. You, you could have fit through without <laughs> taking out the sides. Oh, we have a little... Little mini uh, church in our mansion. That's handy. That'll save us a trip into Nippawam set to attend services. We gotta start our own religion out of convenience. <laughs> Don, there's a door right there, Adrian. My god. Oh well. Obviously not why I married you. Shut up, Don. What is this? Is this like a slide type puzzle or some sort of combination? A, a chest? A bomb? I don't know. Is there anything else going on in here? Everything is drawing me to this sweet whatever this is. Bonus room, totally worth the purchase price at the house, which we still don't know what it is. I think it was better off where it was. Oh, it's a big book. Oh, it's the book that he bought, probably. From that guy in Egypt. Oh, wow. From Egypt. This must be Carno's family tree. Open me. Wait, what? Sure, we should open that. Like Pandora's box, King's Quest IV style. That didn't work out well for Ozella. Which means it's definitely not going to work out well for you. Let's lock that thing up right now. Oh, no. Forget the Pandora's box. It's going to be far more interesting. Let's read more about Karnov's family tree. 
What's his name? Oh wow, look at this. Breeze fire, right? This must be Carno's family tree. Oh Carno. I was I was one consonant off. 1831 to 1860. 1865. We need Grace Nakamura right about now to decipher all this for us. She's much more uh, capable. 1853 to 1995. I don't know. Takes care of himself. Eats plenty of cereal soup. <laughs> Whole pantry full of it. It's a secret to longevity. Fine, let's open Pandora's box and destroy the world. Alright, we don't need the animation of you locking that up. Let's move the bookmark. Oh, is there a timeline to... Look at that, we're almost on chapter two. It's exciting. I feel like if the spear wanted to get out that badly, it didn't need us to open that. Mess with that Zoltar machine. Don? Don? Did you have an accident, hon? Don? Are you? Oh my god. Don, what happened? That's what you get for playing with the occult. Ouch, my head. Are you okay, honey? It's, it's this little gun. What happened? Are you sure? Let me look at that. You've got quite a goose egg. What were you doing, wrestling with that lamp? Hey, hey, oh, it's very funny. I don't, I don't know what happened. Uh, suddenly the damn lamp crashed down on top of my head. You told me not to I, mess with it. I just finished tightening the screws. Oh. Girl in the tower. I'm gonna go upstairs. Get cleaned up, put on some new clothes. Oh. Yeah, this ridiculous vest. I love it in this house. Doesn't matter what floor you're on, you can always say, I'm gonna go upstairs. <laughs> There's always How about some dinner? another floor. What would you like? How about cereal I'm soup? I'm really very hungry. Maybe some tuna or salad or. Or tuna or salad? Then let's call it a night. That sounds good. I'm kind of tired. Tune up. See you downstairs about ten minutes? Yeah. Ten minutes. That should give me enough time to get upstairs. <laughs> Maybe get back downstairs. Tuna or salad. Alright, chapter one is finished. Exciting. We didn't do that much, but honestly, when your house is that big, that first episode is going to take an hour or more. <laughs> we'll see you in chapter two. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.